We're looking today at my 2005 Mobile Suites by DRV. This is a 38 foot. It was manufactured originally in 2005. However, in 2012, $55,000 of upgrades went into this Mobile Suites. DRV is known for making fifth wheel coaches that are all season, full timing rigs. And this 38 foot fifth wheel coach weighs just under 21,000 pounds. I'll give you a tour outside and then I'll take you inside and show you what those upgrades included. While we're outside, I'll point out the two power awnings. So those are automatic awnings. Press a button inside on the control panel and they extend out. Has a Lippert hydraulic jack system, front and rear. Those jacks are underneath. The slides are hydraulic as well, so they're very quick. One of the upgrades that was done in 2012 was this coach received an entire new roof. There were also some upgrades to the suspension done. So we have 2012 Goodyear 17 and a half inch tires. This brand has, or this uh, make has a really good reputation. You can see the DOT label right there. Fifth month of 2012 for manufacturing. It has the trail air lift. So there's springs in here, but there's also an airbag in between these two axles that give it always the even ride height that it needs. So we're looking at the driver's side of the fifth wheel right now. There's the bedroom slide. I'll take you inside quickly and then I'll give you a very detailed tour inside and outside. So the model is a 38 RL3. And when you first come into the kitchen, you can see some of the very impressive upgrades that were done. This was completely gutted and a commercial stove and oven was installed. Has a full size stainless steel residential refrigerator freezer in the bottom. So freezer on bottom with slide back tray, very deep down there. Two door refrigerator. GE microwave convection with fan. Beautiful backsplash, all kinds of accent lighting. In the kitchen, we also have a dishwasher. Very efficient and great for a couple. Just the right size. In the living room, TV has been upgraded to a flat panel with a Samsung center channel. This desk was upgraded. There's a pull out drawer for a keyboard or notebook computer.
all of the shades are day night shades much of the lighting in here has been upgraded to LED that is a pull out high to bed you can see DRV's quality the valences the accents and the nice light colored cabinetry The flooring was upgraded in 2012, so the hardwood that you see down the center of the coach is all new. There's a subwoofer in the back and a really nice sized kitchen table. There's a leaf, it extends out, you can easily seat six. The island was upgraded. There are two leaves left and right that will go and fold down. Likewise on the other side. I'll pause the camera and show you the stove. So all the conveniences of your sticks and bricks kind of home is in this full timing coach. There's a pantry, lots of shelves, and I'll show you the interior lighting that turns on as soon as you open it up. All the shelves are adjustable. tell the coach has been taken care of it even has the original carpeting you can see it's been a shoes off someone's home coming up into the bedroom that's a king size bed the original bedding and pillows are still included sleep by number bed and mattress closet extends all the way across the front of the coach with a safe in the floor, LED lighting inside. Nice to have those windows on either side of the bed for cross ventilation if it's cool enough to go without air conditioning. skylight above the shower hard surface counter upgraded taps and on this wall the left door is where we find the laundry room this is a Splendide Made in Italy washer-dryer combination. One unit does both. Lots of storage down below because of that choice. And the second door is the stool room. Small cabinet above there for your Toilet paper and a ceiling fan. Now, I mentioned earlier the residential appliances that you see in here. Those are powered by the Samsung stove and the Verona 
or sorry, Samsung, Samsung refrigerator and the Verona stove. Those are household appliances. They require household current. And one of the amazing upgrades that was done to this coach was the electrical infrastructure. In 2012, a very high-end whole house inverter was implemented, a Magnum. And what that does is it very intelligently distributes the power to the batteries for charging. There's a variety of charging capabilities that it has, bulk and absorb. And what's providing power to the coach are 12 golf cart batteries. I'll show you outside. So the owner who put this in just three years ago did things right. These are very high quality GC batteries. You can see how they've been installed. With our shutoffs and the distilled water distribution system in here. Incredible amp hour reserve in that system. I'll take you on a more detailed tour outside now. This cabinet contains an additional 30 amp plug. So there's a 50 amp power cord in the back. There's a 30 amp source that can be plugged in here for a generator. There's your cord for it. And in here, you'll see the landing gear and the Lippert hydraulic pump and distribution. Here are the controls for the front and back. Hydraulic jacks. This next door are the 40 pound propane bottles. The belly storage inside this coach is really impressive. So the doors are on hydraulic struts. That extends out either side of the coach. I'll pull it out the other side later. In here are all your water controls. So outside shower wash down, fresh connections. There are the trail air door side and driver side pressure points. So you can see that one side has just a few PSI more than the other to keep the coach level left to right. Has auto drain for the gray and black tanks. You can see how DRV does things right. Distributing their power cords across. And what really impresses is if you take a look at the understructure, the belly of this coach, everything is enclosed. This was one of the last years the DRV had their really heavy um, frame. So very stiff frame structure. Two 8,000 pound axles with the oversized Goodyear tires. And back around to what I'd call the living side of the coach. I want to point out those awnings. What's really nice is you have shaded area from the front of the coach really all the way to the back with those two awnings, the split awnings.
And there's the other side of the belly storage. And again, you this tray, push the handle, and it slides all the way out so you maximize your storage that way. What I've temporarily done is I've taken these two doors off of uh, that show uh, or hide the hot water tank and electronics. I'm going to take those out and show you behind the scenes what's in here. Everywhere you look inside this coach, you see all kinds of upgrades that have been done. I'm going to start on the right hand side. What we're looking at here are the remote controls and the overall control for the power awnings. Up here is an auto transfer switch, a uh, safeguard it's called, so that when a generator is hooked into the front, it transfers power between that 50 amp and 30 amp connection that we saw, the 30 in the front. Coming into the utility space, there's the heart of the battery system is that Magnusign, the Magnum inverter, charger inverter. And you, everywhere I look, I see that things have been done right. I'm going to take you to the other side and show you the instant hot water heater. From this side, you can see up here is the tankless hot water heater. It's a demand system. It uh, uses propane, but it's ignited by 12 volt. Whole house filter. There's our pressure pump right there. And you'll see all around the winterization package that's been put in. So you can get into the cold temperatures if you want to. And here we are finally on the roof. Two Dometic low profile air conditioners. Fantastic fan exhaust fans underneath some of those covers. Very exciting to see a wine guard a satellite dish. That's an automatic one that seeks all on its own. I believe that's programmed for Bell Express View. There's the skylight above the shower. That's the exhaust fan in the bedroom space and the second zone air conditioner. So this roof extends all the way over the edges. There's new drip caps, rain gutters, spouts. So a brand new roof in 2012. Looking at the slides and their seal capabilities, they're in great shape. Take you across to this one. So I want to point out that the previous owner, while taking this out of his backyard, broke one window. And you'll see right below here, when you're looking at the outside of the trailer, there's a narrow window that got broken across the top. I'm going to replace that entire window, but I'll finish on the roof showing you around. So I mentioned that one window that's broken and I want to point out one other thing 
my careful inspection has found. I found a soft spot right here in the roof. I can see it's a little bit caved and when I look at the seal, I can, you, can you see that it's a little bit, it's cracked in there. What I'd like to do is I'm going to take this off and we're going to reseal around there. While I have this off I'll be able to take a look and just make sure that this hasn't gone too far you know out, out elsewhere that that water leak again this roof was replaced in 2012 so it's pretty recent I don't think that would have gone too far but I'll be checking that out. So I'd like to show you that other deficiency when the previous owner was taking it out of his backyard he caught his garage roof when he was coming around a corner and you can see this upper glass right now I've got some black duct tape on there but the upper glass got broken it is a little bit scratched on the frame right here you can see that it did go through the clear coat into the paint and it's scratched right here too it's a little rough underneath that duct tape I'm gonna look at probably doing I'll see if we need to replace the whole frame or just the upper glass. I think just the upper glass will be okay. And I'll sand it here where it's scratched and paint it black. Here's the last efficiency I want to show you. The door has a crack in it. It got struck. And the majority of times, of course, your door is open and you don't see it, but it would be something that I'll leave it up to you whether that's something you want to have repaired or not. Well, thanks for joining me on this tour of this 2005 Mobile Suite by DRV. If you have any further questions, our contact information is on our website. You can also see the tow vehicles that we create for these full-timing coaches. Our website is www.rvhaulers.com. Thanks for watching.